our richness, beauty. The look at this one is very simple. Hair pushed over to the side with a sharp parting, but there's a line of gold leaf painted into the parting. It's always pretty. I've never seen an ugly collection. A lot of gold in the hair and the eyelashes. So. Cool. Nice tiny smile. That's great. It's all little hints of gold. There is gold in the hair, gold in the in the decor, gold in the invitation, in the collection. And I just do a very natural nude face with a stronger eyebrow and then I apply gold thread, metallic gold threads as fake lashes. Just five to seven on, on the upper lashes, just glue them in between the lashes as if they were fake lashes, but it's just little hints of metallic. Please adapt your walk to the girls in front of you. Such a long catwalk, about 200 meters catwalk, 600 feet. We will have a great show. You look beautiful. It looks amazing. Just that. Thank you. I just wanted to explore all these different elements of embellishment, like uh, the ruffles, like the gold, like the lace, the transparencies, the more precious things, the more typical feminine, the slightly more masculine things. The beauty of raw cotton, uh, like all the untreated cotton for the big coats, just to balance sometimes also the preciousness of all the very chic materials like the, the silk with the tulips. So I needed to have there kind of a, a cotton bag because the whole thing would be just too much for me. Well, I'm just the biggest Dries fan on earth. He always manages to create a really interesting mix of inspirations in a totally wearable, cool way that just looks easy. This time there were things that looked sort of hippie-ish and then there was metallic and a little bit of menswear is always thrown in the mix and ornamentation and somehow it just is spectacular. I thought Dries did a fantastic show. It was his usual beautiful workmanship and ethnic influences. I wanted to put in the collection some ethnic elements because women like Tamara D'Alempica, like Lulu de la Falaise and, and all those people, they just throw elements together and they just take an ethnic necklace or they have like in their house an ethnic cushion which they use as handbags. So that was a little like the starting point of the whole thing. I thought Dries was very beautiful in his tradition of combining like incredibly desirable wearable things in a very seductive way. And he touched on so many trends of the season, you know, the metallics and the shine and the ruffle and pleats and kind of intriguing use of florals. But I think brought all those trends very much into his own world and I thought it was a very poetic show, yeah. Classic Dries. You know, I always am interested in what Dries does because I think his use of fabrics and prints is just really intriguing and it's something that no one else really does in that way.
I know that a lot of the prints this time were drawn from the, the Musée des Arts et Décoratifs. There's my butchered French pronunciation of that. And those were fantastic. The print is all elements so from, from the museum, so which we reproduced, which was a very complicated process, but very exciting so. All of the, the gold and gilding was really exceptional. The Dries show, I feel like he's always surprising and he's been doing it for so long and it's amazing that he's just an independent designer. I mean, I really respect that so much that he's this independent designer doing you know, what he totally believes in as opposed to always having to answer to a bigger house. I mean, the staging was incredible. You're kind of almost overwhelmed by how beautiful the staging was. 